Hi there. In this video, we're going to continue with some vocabulary. And today we're going to look at appearance. So when we talk about appearance, we're talking about adjectives, describing words, so words like tall, small, fat, thin, etc. Okay, so the word for tall in Spanish is alto. Alto. Now that would be if it was a man. If it was a lady, remember it would go to the A. Alta. Of course, two men or a mixed couple would be altos in the plural and the female plural altas. So all of these would change. Okay, so tall, alto. Now small, when we're talking about height, is bajo, bajo. So it'd be bajo, baja, bajos or bajas, depending on what we were talking about. Okay, fat. Fat is gordo, gordo. So again, gordo, gorda, gordos or gordas, depending on what we're talking about. And thin, thin would be delgado, delgado, delgada, delgados, delgadas. Again, depending on who we are actually talking about. Now, for handsome, we would use the word guapo, guapo, or for the female, guapa. So, guapo, guapa, guapos, guapas. Now, that depends on who you're obviously uh, talking about. Handsome is not really a word that we would use nowadays uh, in English uh, to describe a female person or a thing. It's a bit old-fashioned, but here in Spain, it's commonly used. Okay, so if we want to say pretty, we would say bonito, bonito, bonita, bonitos, bonitas. Again, depending on who you're talking about. Now, ugly. Ugly would be feo, F-E-O, feo. So we would have feo, fea, feos, feas, depending on who you were talking about. Checking the list to make sure I don't miss out anything here. Uh, we have uh, the word for hair, of course. So we've got hair would be pelo, P-E-L-O, pelo. If you have no hair, of course, and you're bald, that would be calvo, calvo. Then if we have straight hair, we have pelo liso, pelo liso, which is hair straight. If it was curly, uh, pelo rizado, pelo rizado, blonde hair, pelo rubio, pelo rubio, dark hair, pelo uh, moreno, that's kind of brown here, pelo moreno, pelo moreno. If you just want to say dark hair, of course, we could say pelo oscuro, pelo oscuro. And red hair, peli rojo. You had the O went to the I in the middle and you add it on. Peli rojo. If someone wears glasses, then the word for glasses, of course, are gafas. Gafas. And sunglasses, gafas del sol. Gafas del sol. Glasses of the sun. What else are we missing here? Uh, if someone has uh, long hair, of course, it would be pelo largo, pelo largo, and short hair, pelo corto, pelo corto. So that's some words to help you with the appearance. Of course, you can listen to the video here and uh, just try to get these words. Sorry about cat. Uh, you can just try to uh, study these words and do it by memory. You can head over to the website, have a look at them there on the website and try some of the exercises, see uh, what you can remember. Uh, if you're going to be heading over to the website, remember, make, pay special attention to your spelling and, of course, to the positioning of accents because that completely changes the word. Okay, good luck with your appearance.